All right. Um, I'm sorry to do this. Uh, you picked the wrong day to listen to the Opie and Anthony show. Why? Every once in a while, we like to find a little something, a little nugget, <laughs> and we like to get it stuck in your head. Mm-hmm. This is an actual commercial. From what year, by the way? Uh, it's for a game. Oh, from the 90s, that's it? 90s? Yeah, this was a game. No the, way. It has to I be the early 90s. 80s. I remember this. You remember this? Oh, hell yeah. I don't remember this one. I remember this song. I used to laugh my ass off. But I remember like the apartment I was in when I was watching it, and that was kind of the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like 80s. All right, maybe late 80s, mid 80s, yeah. something like that. Uh, the wise Wikipedia is saying released in 1992. 1992, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to get this stuck in your head Wikipedia today. Wikipedia is stupid. <laughs> and, and by the way, um, audience participation, mm -hmm. make up your own jokes after you hear this. Yeah, it's just a fun commercial. For a, for a game. You'll remember for it. Uh, believe me, you'll remember it. It's very nostalgic and it's fun to listen to. And I don't know why it uh, was not this funny when it was on the, the, the television. Yeah. Because now it's just really funny. <laughs> That's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. Toss your balls in my top. I'm Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, I will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls in, and Mr. Bucket wins. But look out, because the balls will pop out of his mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls will pop out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket from Milton Bradley. I like turtles. Yeah, I know. You like Mr. Turtles. Buckets are good egg. <laughs> Man, what is that all about? It just doesn't look like a particularly fun game. <laughs> no. Like, you drop a ball in Mr. Bucket's head, and his mouth is a big circle, and the ball just falls out. It pops out. It's a game for three year olds. Have you ever hung around a three year old? Yes. You could give them a piece of paper, that they'll be amazed for hours. You know what I think the object was? What? You get different colored balls, you got to put them in Mr. Bucket's mouth. No, no, you put no, it in his head. In his head. His mouth. And then they pop out his mouth, and then you got to run back and put it back in his head, because if all your balls pop out, yeah, then you like you well, lose. And to make it a little challenging for the kids, they have a little shovel. They to pick do up it with ball. a shovel. But see, they don't explain it like that. No, because then the song wouldn't be as fun. It's just fun saying, "Oh, Mr. Bucket, <laughs> the balls pop out of my mouth." <laughs> That's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. Toss your balls in my top. I'm Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, I will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. I like it. We're all going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls in, and Mr. Bucket wins. But look out, because the balls will pop out of his mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls pop out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. A ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. Everyone wins. From Milk and Bradley. Not everyone wins. Someone is suggesting that uh, Oscar De La Hoya lost every time <laughs> when he was playing Mr. Bucket. <laughs> Mr. Bucket, the thing with Mr. Bucket is the ball yeah. apparently shoots out of the mouth, too. It's not just falling out. There's something inside of Mr. Bucket that probably propels it out. Yes, yes. propels the balls out of his mouth, and then you got to, like, pick him up and put him back in his head because the first one to get all their balls in his head without him popping out of his mouth wins. Because then all of a sudden you like got one ball left, and you're like, oh, oh, oh. You put it in his head, and bam, the other ball shoots out of his mouth, and now you got to run and chase that one, and you were almost a winner. And the frustrating thing is the ball cannot go in the mouth because of the way the, the thing is set up. No, you got to put it on the top of his head. What about uh, Mr. What's that first line of that song? It annoys me. I'm Mr. Bucket. No, uh, it's like he's uh, confirming he's Mr. Bucket. Like people are like, "Are you Mr. Bucket?" I'm Mr. Bucket. Uh, can you hear the first line of that song? Mr. Bucket. Oh, that's right. Oh wow. Oh, yeah, that's oh. Right. Hold on, hold on. Off on me. Very good. Um, the girl at the start of the commercial sounds like she's saying. Let's just put it this way. Instead of saying bucket, she's saying oh, something, something else. That might be a little dirtier. All right, let's hear. She's saying something fun. <laughs> well, little. It's a stretch. Maybe she's blown off the idea of the game. Yeah. She's being dismissive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what? I hear it now. Now they're gonna play this five times just so I can listen. Everyone's gonna hear it. Listen closely. <laughs> and then you know how kids are. They can't pronounce stuff properly. He's like, that's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. And she's looking at him like, so? Who mentioned you? I didn't say that. <laughs> Mr. Bucket. That's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. What? I'm Mr. Bucket. Toss your balls in my top. I'm Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, I will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. We. We.
The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls into Mr. Bucket wins, but look out, because the balls will pop out of his mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls will fall out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. A ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all gonna run. I'm Mr. Bucket. We. It's not a we. It's not a ride. Yeah, there's nothing we about it. Mr. Bucket is a yellow hunk of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny in the commercial, the kids are just the angle is a floor angle. You're on the floor. Yeah, with like, Mr. Bucket. So Mr. Bucket just looks like an entity. Get out of the yeah. way, Mr. Bucket's coming Look through, out. spitting balls, causing a ruckus. <laughs> And it's just the kids are running around having a ball. Mr. Bucket is not fun. Uh, wow. Late breaking news. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya just changed his name to Mr. Bucket. <laughs> I like turtles. Yeah, we know you like turtles. Stop already. Oh, the kids are screaming. <laughs> playing Mr. Bucket with shovels. <laughs> wee! Wee! Yeah, Mr. Who Bucket. Wee! Both of our mouths. Wee! Mr. Bucket! That's right. Mr. Bucket! I'm Mr. Bucket. Toss your balls in my top by Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, I will pop. Out of my mouth. Mr. Bucket. We're all gonna run from Mr. Bucket. I like the fact that it just continually sounds like Heather Mills' leg coming off. <laughs> I'm Mr. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, a lot of people, let's just put it this way, are, are wondering about the black balls in the game. Let's just put it that way. And well, Steve from Bayshore seems to be uh, yeah. suggesting a game for a E-Rock. A mayo bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Put your food in my top. Into his mouth it will pop. <laughs> but it never comes out. Yeah, that's the problem with that game. Kids are just waiting around for the food to pop out. And it never does. It never now does. does we threw donuts in his head. None of them came out, mother. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Bucket. That's right. Oh, oh, no. Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. This will get stuck in everyone's head today. I'm Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, I will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all going to Mr. Bucket. The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls in, and Mr. Bucket wins. But look out, because the balls will pop out of his mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls will pop out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. A ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. Another feature. Another feature I just noticed that I forgot about is Mr. Bucket has two arms. Yeah. And they move over his head uh, as like oh. a ball blocker for the top of his head. No one makes uh, so it makes it harder to get uh, your balls into the top of his head because his hands are moving back and forth over the top. Only a few people will get this, but screw it. Uh, he moves his heads over his hands over his head. Like Earl does when Earl's trying to think. Oh, when Earl's thinking. <laughs> See, a Mr. Bucket? <laughs> See, I he almost sounds laugh. like it. A Mr. Bucket? Okay. I just, I just did a joke for about 15 people, so. But the thoughts never <laughs> enter my head. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even a linger longer issue, trust me. That's no. just way, way inside. He's always, he's always just scratching his head and moving his hand across his, uh, across his scalp. Trying well, they to know out. from Ron Trying to figure something out. A Mr. <laughs> 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 God, we all forgot about Oscar De La Hoya. Say, he's oh, all this, news. This is today's show, we just decided. Uh, no Nose was a huge star at 6.10. Who? Exactly. What? Oscar De La Hoya was the star of the show at 6.35, and now it's all about Mr. Bucket. A, no Nose. That's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. Toss your balls in my top. I'm Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, I will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all gonna run to Mr. Bucket. That's the wee. <laughs> I the wee. What are the wee? Having fun. The balls will pop out of his mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls will fall out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all gonna run to Mr. Bucket. Wee! Wee! It's a fun. Okay. The awful children's noises you hear. Oh, like, I know. Wee! Screaming in the and they're, for Mr. Bucket, he's a hit. By the way, running around with amounts to kitty litter scoopers yeah, yeah. <laughs> to pick up the balls with. People on instant feedback, completely amazed that they didn't dump out of that. Because we're a professional broadcaster. What? what? They? It's a commercial. We're a it's professional a broadcaster. It's a Bucket, great commercial. The great thing would be is if someone put an M80 in Mr. Bucket's skull, <laughs> and then the little snot put her hand out for wee, wee. Mr. Bucket's ball, and an M80 landed in her little <laughs> fat baby fist. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right, punk. They don't really explain that the balls go in, in from the top of his head. Yeah, the top of his head. Like and the, then they the top shoot of his out. skull is removed. He has yeah. no top of the head, right? It's just, he's a bucket. Right. But they don't want to explain that because then the commercial wouldn't be as fun yeah. to listen to. 
I'm Mr. Bucket. I look like JFK in Dallas. I'm Mr. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> the brains pop out of my head. My wife tries to get him off the trunk. <laughs> you can find the ball in the grassy No, I'm Mr. Bucket. <laughs> uh, you, Mr. Bucket comes with a Governor Connolly bucket right in front of him. <laughs> uh, there's one little picture of this very bad boy. He's wearing like an awful Danny Torrance sweater, and he's covering. <laughs> he's holding like a yellow. It looks like the letters. It's like a hollowed out. Uh, like a letter C if it was a shovel. Yeah. Like it's like a little scoop for the ball to throw Mr. Bucket's head. It's so it could pick up the ball. And he's covering his face. He's like freaking out at Mr. Oh, Bucket. Like the glee is too much. Is it? Well, either that or he's afraid of a talking bucket with a mouth and arms. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, mother, there's a bucket speaking to me. You know that thing that you throw up into and you mop with? It's now talking to me and encouraging me to throw things into it. When head. you come home on Friday night <laughs> and you're a little. Teetery, and you throw up. It sounds like what father says to you before he punches you, but I'm young. I don't understand. That'd be hysterical. Dad comes home all drunk and throws up in your Mr. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't know it's a Mr. Bucket, so he picks it up and it leaks out of the mouth into the just, rug. Or you turn it on and it just starts shooting his vomit on the walls and all over his children. Good old dad needed a bucket to keep his fears cold. <laughs> just, uh, Mr. Bucket. Oh, I'll just use the Mr. Bucket to keep my kid well noticed. My Budweiser's cold. Mr. Bucket. Oh, wow. Again? I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. Push your balls in my top. I'm Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, I will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls in the Mr. Bucket wins, but look out. Because the balls are pulling out. Mr. Bucket. The balls are pulling out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. I win. Hit her with the bucket. You know, this is very interesting because... Look at the voiceover for that. You know, there's, a, there's obviously some kind of double entendre thing that is being suggested there? there just to kind of make this song fun for the parents to listen. You think so? Something. Yeah, come on. Right. They could explain the game a little differently than that. How? Huh? How? What do you mean? What the game is. They're colorful plastic... Toy balls. You don't think parents and you that drop heard them in this the commercial top. back in the day aren't sitting there laughing, going, "Oh my god, Mr. Bucket." It's kind of like the the kid movies they make today. They they throw a little that uh, like adult stuff in like there, like Shrek, knowing that it'll go right over the kid's head. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that today. Sure. Mm. Wee. All right, we gotta take a break. Uh, Wee. No, they would want anything. They want and nothing that's not right associated with a kid's toy because parents would be they'd never buy it. <laughs> no, it's. I'm not saying they they. It's just uh, just there, where it goes over the kid's head, so they can't really complain. Well, about I think it. they just described the game perfectly. Is mm. what they did. You're crazy. Mm. This was purposely done, in my my humble opinion. Yeah. What about uh. the Ball Buster game commercial from 1975? What about it? Do you have that right there? Yeah. All right, hit that, Iraq. The name of the game is Ball Buster. <laughs> Playing the sting music. It's a family game. Fun for children. Sounds like a murderer. Yeah. And for adults, it's exciting. Oof. Babe Ruth's last job before he died. You make strategic offensive and defensive moves. Mm. Then try to bust your opponent's balls. <laughs> it's as easy as checkers. Cool. You're a ball buster. How the hell do they play that? Buster, a great new game from Nico. I don't remember how the game was, but there, there's balls you have to bust. And that's, that's, it was like pool. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. All right, we'll take a break. We'll get this stuck in people's head today. It's Opie and Anthony. Uh, we got lots to do today. The man waking up during his own autopsy is just amazing. It's an amazing story that people are talking about. <laughs> you can almost say, our Bud Dwyer made a Mr. Bucket out of himself. <laughs> <laughs> he shot the top of his head. A Mr. Uh, Mr. Dwyer. <laughs> Mr. Dwyer. <laughs> the gun goes into my mouth. <laughs> the, <laughs> the brains pop out of my head. <laughs> Uh, Carl from Newport, Rhode Island. He writes, Gun comes out of the bag, of Mr. Bucket. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Carl from uh, Newport writes. You guys missed the "We're all gonna run" part. Like there's some kind of ball craving psychopath coming after the children. 
<laughs> yeah. It's Opie and Anthony. That's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. Porsche balls in my top. I'm Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, I will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. Walk in a run. I'm Mr. Bucket. The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls in, and Mr. Bucket wins. But look out, because the balls will pop out of his mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls pop out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. A ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket.